Manila and Hanoi, the capital cities of the Philippines and Vietnam. But these cities losses its glory as the financial center of each country. The city of Manila, specifically the historic street of Escolta in Binondo was the primary financial district in the Philippines from pre-colonial period to 1960s. By the late 19th century, Escolta flourished into a primary financial and fashionable business district, lined with early skyscrapers, shops and boutiques and hosting the city's tallest buildings, as well as the Manila Stock Exchange. During the American period, the Spanish shops were replaced by modern department stores, and an electric tram line known as Trandia, plied the street. But in 1960s the center of business in the country gradually shifted to Makati. The city of Hanoi, the historical capital of French Indochina, became the capital of the independent North Vietnam in 1954 and the capital of a reunified Vietnam when North and South Vietnam were reunited on 1976. Though Hanoi is the administrative capital of the reunified Vietnam, Saigon and later on rename as Ho Chi Minh become the country's primary economic and financial center and also the most populous city. However, in recent development, both cities try to regain its pride through urban development within the city's premises, to boost its economic and financial activities. Today, we will feature the two most awaited urban development in Hanoi, and in the city of Manila, the Star Lake City and Horizon Manila. Through the close collaboration between Hanoi City and Daewoo E and C, Star Lake has been developed to flourish as a world-class urban town, the best in Asia to live. Star Lake, the most luxurious and modern city in Vietnam, covers an area of 186.3 hectares, connecting with the green space of West Lake and the main roads to Noi Bai International Airport with easy access to the administrative areas of Hanoi. Tehote Newtown Development Project, also known as Star Lake City, will contribute to propelling Hanoi's social and economic performance into the future. Boasting an unmatched location, the 186.3 hectares, Star Lake Newtown will realize a one-stop life that integrates residential, business, commercial and cultural functions all within the city. In the heart of the Star Lake New Town, premier hotels, business facilities, R&D centers, shopping malls, supermarkets and various cultural facilities will be constructed in multi-functional buildings. An eight central government building are scheduled to be relocated to the center in the administrative and diplomatic complex to the north. Embassies of 15 countries, including the Embassy of the Republic of Korea will be relocated making Star Lake the true center of Vietnam's capital Hanoi. The philosophy of eco-friendly construction that ensures a refined quality of life, is embodied throughout Star Lake New Town. The Peace Park and Friendship Park which are built to celebrate 100 years of amity, the abundant green space, central plaza and artificial lake will add unmatched premium and a more elegant quality of life to Westlake. In 2022, 400 apartment units will be built overlooking Westlake. In addition, commercial, business, and school sites, totaling 9 hectares will be developed, and by 2025, the Hanoi Star Lake New Town will be completed, into the dream city we've always imagined. Star Lake New Town, embodies Vietnam tradition and latest trends, into the symbol of Vietnam's economic and cultural growth, and a model benchmarked by other Asian cities. Infrastructure changes the way we live, better infrastructure is the building block of a better life, this is our philosophy in building Star Lake Newtown. Horizon Manila is an upcoming mixed-use planned community to be built on a 419 hectare reclaimed land in Manila Bay. It has been described as the biggest reclamation project in Manila Philippines. The city built on scratch is mapped into three islands, arranged east to west with long faces along the north-south axis, with a four-kilometer long canal park, as the main connecting feature in between the isles. This urban valley recalls the settlement of Manila along the Pasig River, and bolsters the idea of Manila as a city by the river. The main highlight of the city is the canal park, a unique and enriching features that will define the lives of all its residents. 
The canal park not only connects the three islands, but also provides Horizon with a public park at its core that stretches all the way to the water's edge, ensuring that Manila Bay Sunset will be always belong to the public. A viaduct with a monorail system allows direct access from Manila to the islands. From the central station, the trackless electric tram system loop around the development, and no place in the island will be more than a 5 minutes walk away from a tram station. All the roads will be tree-lined, and will feature 8-meter wide sidewalks with 3-meter arcades, that ensure shades in any form of weather. The development emphasizes personal mobility with pedestrian and bike lanes, and aims to encourage a car-free lifestyle for more of its residents. Meanwhile, buildings are designed to minimize heat, while the vertical massing creates clustered towers that keep certain areas shaded all day. There will be a wide array of facilities and amenities, to allow a diverse mix of entertainment for its residents, such as pop-up galleries, and a state-of-the-art basketball arena. A monorail system will also be placed to access the islands from the mainland. And most importantly, the sunset view of the Manila Bay is put into consideration as well, ensuring that this city wonder will be enjoyed by people in the vicinity, with little to no impact to viewers from Rojas Boulevard. The project consortium allotted 109 billion Philippine pesos for the reclamation and construction of roads. 34 hectares will be allotted for the use and disposition of the city. Around 400,000 jobs are expected to be generated for the project and approximately 20 billion pesos in annual taxes will be collected when fully developed. It is envisioned to once again bring back development and growth energy back to the city of Manila. It will re-establish Manila as the heart of our nation and provide a model and impetus for the rehabilitation of the old city center. A Memorandum of Understanding was signed between the City and the Philippine Reclamation Authority on June 2, 2017 and was approved on 2019. On October 2020, Jade Brothers Construction Corporation confirmed that all the necessary permits have been secured, including the Environmental Compliance Certificate. Construction will begin in the second half of 2021 and it will take six to eight years to complete. The master plan for the project was designed by WTA Architecture Plus Design Studio, a local Filipino architecture and design firm. This completely Filipino-owned reclamation project sees a one-of-a-kind real estate milestone in the Philippines city capital, and the only one master planned by a local Filipino firm, which showcases the competencies and capacities of our local practices and developers, and able to embrace a future that is truly Filipino.